ask, do you care one way or another about the growing criticism, both at home and especially abroad, about the rising death toll in the war on drugs? No, not at all. Not a bit because I said there is a crisis. If we are a small country with limited resources, with not so much money at hand, I am operating on a budget that was prepared by the other year, the previous year. The budget of tomorrow, just like in any country, America, is you prepare the budget now for next year's implementation. You know, we do not have the money because it is not in the budget. Not that nobody would have known that when I become president that there will be 3,700,000. I was worried about Davao. I thought it was also serious. But I never thought that it would reach in that dimension when I become president because it has reached millions already. I have a problem here. So I will solve it the way I, I, I uh, with my limited resources and the way I want it. I am not worried about the international community because I am not the president of the international countries. I am the president of the Republic of the Philippines and I must solve decisively this problem or else the 3,700,000 will compromise the next generation of Filipinos. That is the thing that worries me, not the international community. Ah, for all that they, they can always talk and talk. I am invoking sovereignty, no interference. We never in, uh, interfered in anybody's business. But the number of killings that have occurred that are not police related, that are not attributed to the police, well, do those bother you? That is the work of people also. It's the internecine and that is the result of the intrigue we planted so many years ago. We arrested him, but we released him, and we just say that, arrest the other guy that he was pointed by you. Then this guy will be arrested and say, you know, it was B, not us. Then when they start killing each other, you add more intrigues and they'll kill each other. Better. Criminals kill criminals, that is not my worry. It is the extrajudicial killing of people get, uh, getting uh, well, get, get, getting rid of the criminals with their own hands. But we are 104 million and I cannot control the criminal minds here. You must remember that along the way the drug crisis hurt so many people including parents who raised their children from childhood to college spending money and time with your family, taking care and to, to realize at the end of the day, your son or daughter is a hook and destroyed for life. That is a thing that you should worry. Or a soldier assigned here in Mindanao fighting in Hulu, only to learn. And there is a case, I cannot be specific now. Then he was uh, ordered home because their daughter was right. And she was only in first grade. And you, I, I, I am sure you know Dirty Hari. And Dirty Hari felt something for the community. And if you are a soldier or a policeman, and your child gets hooks, with all the expenses and you have to borrow to the, from the government insurance system for every election, every enrollment, and then you find your son destroyed, do you think that I just limit myself to 100? I am telling you, I'm, I'll tell you frankly now, and you can repeat it all, uh, that if I were the father, and I took care of this child, a girl, and then suddenly she's found dead, raped, would you think that I'd be contented, contented just killing one, two, three? It's always an eye for an eye at the end of the day. Who taught us? The movie of... Okay, thank you, sir. Who's uh, that? Uh, Clint Eastwood personified it that way. And most of us saw the pictures and every, every uh, departed or uh, 
so many movies about uh, Leon Neeson, about his uh, daughter uh, getting. What's the difference between Leon Neeson killing a lot of Euro Europeans there and Americans because of what happened to her daughter? That is the same thing that happens in the. That is why the script writer knows what's in the mind of the human being, and they write it and they make it into movies. And it's, uh, it showed us, give us an example, and, uh, and we think that the movie is good, and we should follow it. I mean, to the uh, average family man. Now, how about the so many Clint Eastwoods in the police department? Well, if it is bad, then it should have been no, not shown at all. Because it will poison the mind of everybody in the world.